Welcome to episode three of Beyond <laughs> Brush. And this week we are joined by Amy and also Matt. And as always, Matt Abbas, our resident servo skull oh. for, um, oh. for maintaining things uh, in, on the digital and electronical side of things. How you been? Uh, good, mate. Good. good. Yeah, I'm really good, thank you. How are you? Have you have, good. Have you had a good Indomitus release weekend? I have. I think I'm the only one yeah. that didn't pick it up. I haven't got it yet, no, either. But um, no. I've, I've, I've so. got it. I've been building the uh, building the Necrons. Yeah. Well, they, uh, what really they what nice. they like? They good. They they are lovely, and they're so much better than the previous Necrons. I have to say. Um, I, did, I remember I did some of those last year, and they were just painful. <laughs> but um, but yeah, they, they are really nice. I've not built any of the Marines yet. Um, they're slightly fiddly, but it's mainly because the arms. You put the arms in first, and then you put the torso in. So yeah, it's kind yeah, of, of like trying to trying to fit into that small space, but but to be fair, that's literally the only complaint you have, and when you consider how uh, how painful the previous ones were to build, but, yeah, loads and loads of positive stuff about the, about how good the kits are. Like um, I think I think it was Ross from Fohammer that um, he colour coded the sprues, so you can see yeah, where yeah. where bits yeah. which, which, which was really helpful. I think that's been really really good. But they look really really like good to put together. So oh, um, cool. so yeah, it's the Space Crusade ones though. They're not. They're not as bright colour wise, though, are they? Uh, they peaked too <laughs> yeah, early with them, didn't they? Yeah, they dropped that one. <laughs> yeah. But the amount you get it's, as a painter, it's too much. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. As a gamer, you're probably this is perfect. But I'm looking at going. Uh, I'm, that's that's ten years worth of work there. <laughs> yeah. It's a lifetime. I, I'm probably exactly. not going to get around to even touching mine, to be perfectly honest. So it's just going to join the ever-growing cupboard of shame. So. So yeah, yeah. but <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not proud of it. Yeah, that's all good. But we did have some really, really cool releases, uh, that, uh, or some sneak peeks that come out this this uh, on the lot. Was it the launch party yesterday? I think yeah. it was. Or it was, yeah, it was a launch party. Yeah. yeah. So um, we had some really good. So in the in the what's new section, we're going to be covering those. So when you're ready, Matt, fire away. Cool. So here we go. What's new? What is new? First up, we have the little teaser Ooh. trailer. I didn't see this. Fresh. I didn't see this either. So, we all ready? Yeah. Yeah. Exciting. I like the way they do sneak oh, peeks now. It's great. Yeah. And the rumor ends. It's a really good way. Yeah. I think it really helps. I mean, I, I don't. There's no correlation between when something goes up in rumor engine to when it comes out, but it's, it's a really good way of kind of getting a bit of an idea of what's going to be coming, which I think is quite good. Yeah. Right. Do you have a next slide? Let's go. So Let's do it. Have the gladiators. I was so so into this when it came out like super super into it it's like, a bit of you this isn't it <laughs> yeah definitely yeah like the especially the reaper i think the reaper is it's got blood angel written all over it so um so yeah it's it's, it's mega like i think it's like it's the, you know that you saw the pit that there was that pixelated like leak where you saw obviously what is supposed to be a land speeder or whatever but the yeah. it's blatantly the tank on the bottom left of that shot like blatantly yeah like um yeah, it's, it's interesting. It's got three options as well. Like, I think they were saying that one's the the one with the sort of normal sort of turret is essentially like the the same weapon on the executioner, or maybe a downgraded version of that. And then obviously you have got to have a twin las one. Um, but then yeah, double on sort of Gatling cannons. The Reaper will pretty... fit in really nice with Blood Angels. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely, hundred percent. How, uh, how big is this? Is this smaller than the uh, the other tank? It's it's the same. It's the same size as the Impulsor with just a yeah. turret on the top. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the impulsor. If I've just been build, building the impulsor kit, and it's so lovely, really nice to build. Um, so yeah, these these look really good. Yeah, I, I'm like, I think the bit, it's almost like G Man has gone down to to Gary Joe Belisarius' call. Um, can you pimp my ride and just give me some? Give me something that's got um that's got multiple. He's had options. exhibited there as well. Just you know, you yeah, just exactly. Come down just to the Space in. Marines like land and dock and just gone. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if you look in the back, there's a disco ball. 
so, so G Man <laughs> rocks up in like a in like a battered rhino, and then uh, and then Exhibit just dives, so dives out the bushes and goes, "Let's pimp your ride." And then him, him and Cool go to, go go A A team on it. Um, no, on it all jokes aside, like it's it's, it's mega. Like um, it's really, really cool. I think it might even have troop capacity as well because I think the back of it has got like a door as well. Like it's got like a, a hatch. So um, mm. it should be quite good. And I wouldn't be surprised if you see a lot of people. I think a lot of people were complaining and not complaining, but saying they would love to see the Impulsor with like a closed troop compartment. So you, yeah. you'll, probably, you'll probably end up seeing people that use this kit to make sort of closed versions of the Impulsor, I'd imagine. Mm. Um, Maybe, yeah. Yeah, which, which would be cool. But it looks awesome, like really, really good. Um, like it's in, it'd be interesting to see what, um, you know, how it, how, how it is on the sprues and stuff. Because there's, there's really, it's only the turret that's really any different other than that. And they're, too, they're not even really sponsors, are they? They're kind of like... They're kind of like little sort of nodules yeah. kind of things yes. on the it's front. Interesting now with the aerial as well. How they go in grav with everything. Um, tank tracks are kind of disappearing out of 40k sort of space marine stuff. Oh, yeah. I think you still have them in the guard. Yeah. I think when they redo for, for the space but, space um, marine stuff, I think it'll be fully grav soon enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it makes sense. I mean, they, they have been they have been using tracks for. God knows how many years, do you know what I mean? So it's, it makes perfect sense. But they're really, really cool, like awesome. And, and, and again, it's another another vehicle that now has a base as well, which you don't, like, I think they are moving to all vehicles for the purposes of the gameplay side of things, have bases mm. and everything. So makes sense. Um, it's a good cleaner. Cool. It looks awesome. Yeah. yeah, it makes the army look more cohesive, doesn't it? Um, yeah. Yeah, I really like them. Cool. That's awesome. Next slide. Yeah, like, uh, oh, oh, no, okay. go, Matt. Oh. No, I was just going to say, like, um, I was speaking to James previously, and I think Amy as well. Like, tanks aren't my thing, but this is really cool. I'm, I'll give it a go. Like, I get, I don't, it's not like I don't like the figures, because you can clearly tell that these figures are amazing, but I get overwhelmed <coughs> with something mm. sort of that big, because that's, that's like, that's like just a small loaf of bread, isn't it? About that kind of size. That's how I'm going to put it. Like, you know what I mean? Just, yeah, um, a lot. So. Uh, yeah, and. But you can do a lot with it. There's like a blank canvas there. Yeah, it's a lot, there's a lot. There's a lot going. There's also a lot going on with it. I think like I mean, we can't really overlook the paint jobs either as well. And um, obviously the yeah. tights are different. But I think it, um, if I had to make put a guess on it, I'd probably say that I think Paul Paul Norton's done this because if you have a look at the, the I think there's a close. Oh, up. I think it might be. Um, did this on the stream yesterday? It was Aiden, I think. Is it? Oh, it was sh- maybe. I'm gonna. I'm pretty. I feel, I feel like Max said it was Aiden, but maybe not. Um, yeah. There's really cool like the lens on that, the square box lens next to the the, the, the massive cannon part. That's that I remember Paul done on his um, what's his primary yeah. chapter called? I can't remember what it's called, but there, I, some, Iron Ravens. I think yeah, he done some he done some tank lenses on that, and it had got that yeah. sort of effect where it looks like the lights yeah. pass across the lens, and uh, it's, I just I mean, it's possibly him. But yeah, if it's Aiden, then well, he smashed it, didn't he? So yeah, it's cool. Yeah, mega. Cool. Next slide now. The monolith. This is awesome. <coughs> I, I love really it. cool. Such uh, a. It's amazing. Because it, it looks like it's almost sort of cracking. It, it'd be smaller, mm. but it's sort of cracking open to like let mm. all this energy out. And then you've obviously got the Necron <coughs> pouring out as well. A lot of people thought this was a, a fake image as well. Did they? Yeah. And no. people thought it was a fake image or a conversion. I like they've, kept, love them. they've kept kind of true to the original monolith yeah. with the sort of. Yeah. as well just kind of updated it a little bit yeah and it almost it, looks like an amalgamation of the test rack vault a little bit because because you've got the yeah, yeah, yeah. four corners of it um but mm. it's interesting they've done loads of blackstone on it as well which i think is really really cool like yeah. um which i think brilliant the golf ball as well is uh is something that you can't uh, you can't you know it's, it, <laughs> it looks like the thing from um epcot <laughs> <laughs> yeah no it's awesome it's really, i like the really canoptic cool. spider yeah. dude in the back yeah yeah he's, oh he's yeah good. it's really cool it's really, yeah you can see the yeah. correlation between the the um the tesseract bolt and this i think it's a really really good thing and and i think max said that there'd be different weapons on it as well which is quite good um for sort of the gaming side but the uh there's two fronts as well isn't there? like you've got the materializing net warrior and then you've just got the lightning Electric. i think yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good yeah which is which is yeah. really good it's interesting to see how it goes goes together i mean it, the old monolith definitely served its test of yeah. time but um uh, but it was it was due an update. To be perfectly honest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I really like all like the texture on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's really it's nice. Black. It looks battered. Mm-hmm. I think there's a shot from it from behind where you can see the uh, the little the little dude the little thingy um, writing right. on it, and on those um, sort of things that go above, you can see like little t- tiny little scratches, and um, I, it looks like they're sculpted on. I mean, they might be painted, but 
But yeah, I think all that little detail and stuff is just really interesting. Yeah. I, yeah. I love the, the fact that they've designed the little steps just to make sure that no warrior has, <laughs> has, has a trip as he comes out as he appears. <laughs> Can you imagine? Safety first. Version, version one had no steps. <laughs> the first next one just goes, ah, ah, that really hurt. It's two, it's two <laughs> harder steps. It's like they're coming out of a Humvee or something. You know, that's a huge, yeah. a huge gap. <laughs> But for for a race which are like billions of billions of years old, they could have put some some arm rails on the steps as well, you know, or a stairmaster. Do you know what I mean? Like it would have <laughs> Which was for a, little, a little ramp as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. The lazy chubby neck ones. Yeah. <laughs> no, but no, it's awesome. It's a it's a great model. Um, yeah. Really, really cool. Um, yeah, it's, and I like the fact that they've, that they've gone for really different. Sort of, uh, they've incorporated the copper onto it, but you've also got that that really iconic kind of like inky kind of like greeny kind of bluish sort of off off mm. in color yeah, on the it'd be, um, to, it'd be nice to see what people do with different color schemes with this yeah, as well. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred yeah, percent. Yeah. Again, it's really it's, and it's got a base as well. Yeah. I mean so. I was gonna say the base yeah. looks quite massive. That is that is a big plate. Probably it's a, a one one twenty yeah. or one sixty probably. Like yeah. That. Yeah. Right. Mm. No, it's awesome. It's really, really good. Cool. Next <laughs> the next slide then. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Nice. He's ace. So this was the one character they they showed off properly in that last section, yeah. wasn't it? And if you see, yeah. so it's kind of like, kind of like a like a sub sub um, HQ choice for sisters. Kind yeah. of like a lieutenant. Sort yeah, of I guess so. Thing. Yeah. Mm. Cool. Like I like she's got her priorities right. Prayer beads in one hand, passive pistol <laughs> in the other. So, <laughs> <laughs> like, like, gone out the house without forgetting the key things. Um, but yeah, no, re really, really, really cool. Um, uh, again, a lot of, lot of sort of movement in the model, which is really nice as well. Mm. And um, you know, I like, I like, I, I'm, I'm actually blown away by the sisters right hands. Right, a lot of it that's, I think that's coming, yeah, that's coming from mm. from you, I mean, to the office. Like, um, did you, there's so much, so much diversity between the models, but at the same mm. time, they all, they all have so much character yeah. to them, uh, which is, which is awesome. Like, really, really cool. The sisters yeah. have really had to like. It, it, it's taken quite a while for it to come out, obviously. So they really had no choice but to do it absolutely perfect. I, I think yeah, yeah. the mm. outrage if it wasn't would have been like yeah, insane. Yeah, but you know they've really done glad, it insanely I'm well. Glad they held off. I'm glad they held off to the point where they got the plastic yeah. so amazing, perfect, and they could just go right. That's them done now. Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. I think that was probably the yeah. the main um, thing that maybe caused the delay is the like the injection technology. Yeah. So plastics, mm. have, you know, they've come a huge way in when whenever these came out. Was it ninety seven, ninety eight, or something? The original sisters. I think so yeah, ninety seven. Um, yeah, and like all the undercuts, you know, the different parts and stuff like that. Even yeah. in like maybe ten years ago, but, it probably wouldn't have been possible. Yeah, I mm. couldn't imagine this in the early two thousands. No. Level, you know what I mean, it's it's all the capes as well. Like the, you know, because. I mean, a, a lot of the sisters that I've seen um, and the way they go together as well, like the cape is actually quite an integral mm. part of, of the way they go together as well. But to maintain the sort of movement that the model has and the way that they're like flowing the wind or whatever, it, mm. uh, but as, as well as make it easy to, to actually construct the models as well, is quite is quite a massive task in itself, I'd imagine. So yeah, that's the thing yeah. you see with every sort of new plastic kit that comes out is, is they're all very dynamic in their movement. They're not very static yeah. anymore. Um, yeah, I think Harlequins um, maybe sort of came along with that when it started. All the, the when the plastic Harlequins came out. Mm. It's what Amy was talking about. We were talking about the new Indomitus box, and it's um, they're getting very clever with the engineering. Mm. Yeah. So in the early two thousands, you'd have one half, one half, and now what they're doing is they're having one half with the chest hollowed out with the arms on, and then they're having more detail packed onto the sides to put the chest yeah. in. They're just being mm. very, very clever and with the engineering of the figure. It's like yeah. it's like Chaplin in the Indomitus box. His head is on like this massive stalk, and it just yeah. like it, it like you you kind of build the body around the stalk, and then the head just pops out. Like it's it's just a really really clever way of doing it. Like um you know, and and again, just touching upon like design as well, the sprues as well. Like from what I've seen of all the latest sprues from the newest releases, like they they are literally jam packed with, with they've really really like pushed the amount, the amount that you get on each sprue. Like I remember back in the old, back in the day, like. Like the old cash chance sprues, you had more sprue than you had parts. You know what I mean? It's like it's like yeah. So man, that's awesome. But yeah, awesome. Yeah. awesome I wonder if it comes with different weapon options. Hopefully, I it imagine does. you'll probably get a plasma pistol, bolt pistol, sort of option. Yeah, I can't see it not. Yeah, um, yeah. It's interesting. She's got a helmet as well. You might, you, yeah, you might even yeah. get a, an unsheathed sword for the other hand. Yeah, that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Totally didn't see the scab on for a second there. Yeah, no, this is awesome. Could be cool. Sort of the power weapon yeah. 
uh, bolt pistol combo. What, instead of her, uh, her prayer beads? Yeah, so you might just... be able to just swap out the prayer beads. Yeah. yeah. Uh, James will be sad to lose the prayer beads. Intricate weapon, mate. Honestly, you get those beads, you get those beads in your eye. know about it. It's a garrotting thing if you need to get up I'm and close. <laughs> wow. Wow. The holy garrot. <laughs> holy garrot. <laughs> Not a holy grot, though. They're two different things. No. <laughs> they are two different things, yeah. Cool. What's next? Red next dot. is the sneak peeks. <laughs> Oh, straight very in there. Excited. Straight in there. <laughs> very, very excited by the top two. I, I think that's going to be like a. We've got to do a bad doc, have not they? And I'm yeah. hoping that's him. Yeah, yeah, he he would be cool to get him as a model. Um, yeah, to get him as a new updated model, that'd be great. I was more interested by the the, the bottom uh, the bottom one. Like um, it. Who has it a guess? <sighs> Go on, Uri and Rakarth. Yeah, it, uh, it could well be. Yeah, like it's, it's, there's loads of things like potentially on the horizon. Like we, we've seen rumors mm. of like a lot of the uh, Empress Children yeah. stuff. Yeah. We've seen yeah a lot of Dark Order rumors. Like I'm, you know, I'm so I'm pretty sure that the one just under the orc hand is Lilith. What a new yeah. Lilith model? Yeah, because yeah. she's been out yeah. of stock on the Games Workshop website even before lockdown really started. Yeah, yeah. And they showed the um, it was the plume yeah, of hair. And the and had the yeah. Mm. So mm. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so it might, yeah. might, might, might well be the other one on the right. I'm thinking the old gun. That's that's definitely something in chaos. Like definitely, I think. Like by looking. Yeah, at it. I think is it isn't the one on the right and the bottom one the same model, like a Death Guard model. Looks to me, if you look just underneath the kind of like um, the sort of wing, right. pink wing thing, you can see a green armor. Yeah. So I, I don't yeah. know if that's the same model. Yeah. But it's interesting that the, these all look because there was also a Satari one as well, and it's interesting potentially like if they're going to be releasing like lieutenant equivalent models for all the armies and stuff. Maybe if there's going to be like a upcoming kind of like comp- campaign and stuff, or if the you know. So I think it's, it's interesting that they all seem to be perhaps similar um, sort of battlefield roles yeah. potentially. I think I think the reason is because I think with with the new game and, and with the with the new rules and the points system, obviously points increasing for a lot of things. I think you you are going to need a commander that maybe say for example you put the majority of points into into the main units in your army. You're probably going to need like a cheap HQ that that mm. isn't designed to really do much on the game. Maybe just some rerolls or buffs or whatever, but but isn't a massive point sink like a captain mm. or whatever. So it makes perfect sense. Like it's a good way to do it so that you can sort of get uh, more. More bang for your buck with your points than your models and your yeah. um but yeah but i'm really really interested to see what to see yeah you know, one one thing i'm i i thought i was really really hoping that we'd see is is uh is lucius uh, uh like a like a sport like a reveal of lucius or something like that because he's screaming for a new model do you know what i mean and yeah. um it's a noise marine he's, he's well, so fabulous for a cool. sneak peek you know you need his own like <laughs> particular thing and do it his way and yeah yeah yeah. He'll just kill someone off and become exactly. them, so it's just... <laughs> While sweeping back his hair. Yeah. No, it's cool. Well, it's He's exactly. the guy with the whip, right? Yeah, the guy with the whip, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I need to read more. <laughs> yeah, no, um, but it's interesting, interesting sneak peeks. Uh, I'm sure Matt will be very excited for the top one. Um, but, um, but yeah. New, new we'll little see. GD entry for you. Adepticon yeah, there we go. <laughs> Adepticon UK. Adepticon or UK. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no that's awesome they look good oh, exciting stuff yeah. uh, it's, it's interesting the Sakatari one um, it, it, it looks like it's only on a bigger base than normal I think it's on like a 32 I think mm. so I think but interesting to see what it is but yeah super cool so so next up is Primaris Chaplin on bike <gasps> yeah boy it says it all yeah this yeah. model's amazing yeah yeah, uh, it is incredible, this model. I like, I like that his book's chained down. Yeah. <laughs> Safety first. Exactly. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. The uh, the reveal video for this was hilarious. Like, it was just... Mm. Yeah, it was yeah, yeah. Fun. It's so funny. I really nailed it with that. But, like, um, but yeah, the model's great. Like, um, it's interesting to... I think I mentioned it on uh, another chat somewhere, but, like, the you can take the head from the Indomitus Chaplin stick it on the bike and it looks exactly the same as the super old metal chapter yeah with his metallic half half mm. head I, um so that's probably what i i would do if i if, if, if i do get my hands on this but yeah it looks it looks absolutely amazing i like the way that they've angled the the base comes with a bit of scenery as well yeah. so it kind yeah. of like up as well which is just really a, cool it's also a cool pose that he's not driving he's just yeah, kind yeah. Of surveying yeah Shelf. yeah 
yeah. with a foot down and everything, which is quite so cool. Fired in yeah. just above Minas Tirith, ready to charge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, the um, I didn't. I, I saw um, I saw in some photos of the bike kit. If you look where his like the the foot plate is, where he puts his foot on to the right of it, there's like a little bit that's like built into the side of the bike, and that's that's actually like a, a stand that comes out the like for, for when you park the bike. It's it's like the, the level of detail I put into it is like is bonkers. It's really really cool. Like, you've got these little little feet that come out the side, which is quite interesting. But um, but yeah, like um, have you seen the uh, the handlebars as well? They've changed the normal end of the handlebar and put skulls, skulls on it as well. <laughs> it's like even more, just chuck it on for the sake of it. But yeah, yeah no, it's awesome. It's really good. I'm, I'm just really um, happy the instance... with the bikes that they've kept the tires. I think I think yeah, road yeah, bikes, yeah. while they would look super cool, to me a 40k bike has tires. Yeah, I just can't get around it. I'm, I'm assuming they're not. I'm assuming they're not just rubber tires. No, though. they're probably they're not, not you super can't... 41st millennium. This is amazing rubber. It's not coming from a tree or anything yeah. like that. Yeah, exactly. You're not going to get orcs with a stinger yeah. at the end of a road. Just <laughs> uh, <laughs> they'll be run flats. <laughs> no, no Michelin in sight. Don't worry. It's all right, Kenneth. Right. No, they look awesome. It's an awesome model. Cool. So what's the next? next? Is tech priest. Pre- priest Absolutely tech love it. Yeah, absolutely love it. This is uh, like bonkers, bonkers good. Like we kind of got a little teaser of Tech Marines, didn't we, with the Fire yeah. Strike turret, didn't we, with that with that dude? So it's nice to see that we actually get it one. It was obvious it's... that we would get one when we everyone saw. Yeah, that. yeah. It's, it's... Been years waiting for this, though. Isn't yeah, it? it's cool. That's Tech Marine. Yeah, he's awesome. Like I like, I do like the bionic head as well. I think the bionic head is really really cool. Like. Uh, yeah, I love his little um, arcade style uh, sort of claw grabber, like toys, uh, Toy Story kind of bit the claw. Like, it's, I think uh... it'll have a bit more purchase to it, though. <laughs> yeah, it's probably. It's quite interesting. <laughs> it's just, just close enough and let's go. <laughs> it's quite interesting, though, because it's like it's following his arm. So it's almost like it's um, like a mech suit type thing. Yeah, yeah. Mm. It's really cool. Yeah. I just like the way they do the armor would... plates on them, like on the feet. Yeah, it's really... Oh, yeah. Yeah. It, it notes back to a lot of the older models as well, which is really, you know, I love the fact that they've not, with the Primaris range, like on a lot of the models, they've nodded back to a lot of the, the history, like massively, which I think is really important to keep the continuity. But like, it's just, yeah, the extra little little bits of armor for, for the, because the Tech Marines used to have like a better save, like I think the normal Marine because of their armor. So it kind of, it kind of does that. It gives that off quite nicely. Um, but yeah, got quite a big axe. Yeah. <laughs> just, just, yeah. yeah, just a little bit. And like, I like the the pose as well. He's striding mm. down. Yeah. yeah, he's got what is that? Yeah. Like bolt, really stalker bolt, on his shoulder as well, or something like that. It's a, it's a he need that, but yeah. yeah. Is that to replace? It's interesting that we haven't got any servo uh, servo tools to go with him. So we, I don't know whether we will or not. But but because um, that, that's what heavy bolts is used to be wheeled, isn't it? The servo tools. So very um, um, so, yeah. predator uh, with the the gun cannon on yeah, the side. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. Super cool. Nice. No, awesome. It's really, really good. It's an awesome model. Yeah. So, next up is Big Man himself. Wow. The man. Yeah. Yeah, this model's amazing. Yeah. Incredible. Up and he's really not happy with the state of the galaxy. No. <laughs> no. The, mo- the model is jaw dropping, honestly. Like, yes. You know, right. It's just everything that you'd expect this guy to be, it is. And the fact he's got a personal pet. Satan at the top is as well, yeah. you know. It's, yeah. It's a bit hungry, you know, his facial expression doesn't look too happy. So um low, low legs. Would yeah. you be happy? <laughs> no, probably. <laughs> yeah, um almost reminds me of a sort of a uh, liquid metal kind of T one thousand, you know, when he's dying yeah, yeah. at the end. Yeah, 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 it does actually. Yeah, you're you're quite yeah. right. Yeah. I love the colourway on it as well. Like the the, the colour the job on it is just yeah. It's just they're two cryptex as well, aren't they? They're not just standard Necrons, they're cryptex because they've got yeah. the, the... I didn't know what they were, being honest. Like being honest, like Necrons isn't my strongest point, but like they obviously are bodyguards, but I didn't know what they were like as in as in things. So if you know, then chuck it in the comments. <laughs> so James, like, oh, it... You'd be happy to know. He's got yeah. quite a few steps there as well. Yes. Yeah, oh, yeah. No yeah. handrail though. <laughs> no handrail hand though, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Quite a bit of a quite a bit of a jump at the end though. Yeah, so, yeah. so you know, it could float down. The legs could splay out. Yeah. You know, safety first. Yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. want to sprain an ankle. <laughs> he staffs long enough to find purchase on the floor yeah. before he steps down. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't. I'm not. I'm not too sure what the the two plates at the side are. 
I would guess that they are some form of shield mm. or some form of protection. Yeah, it's like a body shield type a thing. bodyguard thing. Yeah, because mm. they've got their own bases as That's well. Cool. You imagine that the yeah. whole like, he moves and then they move. Or, 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 the way I'd be looking at it, like again, for a gaming perspective, just as a guess, I'd imagine, like Celestine with a yeah. Gemini, where the Gemini... They'll take wounds they'll first. Take, yeah, I'd imagine that that's probably what they do. But um, but yeah, again, I love the cracked finish on it as well. I think that's just it's awesome, like really, really awesome. Um, and again, on the, the shield drills, uh, yeah, this, yeah, I'd imagine so. They're, they're pretty, mm, really? pretty simple, that yeah, um, I'd imagine so. Mm. But um, but they, again, just the detail, just even on those little things, is just bonkers. Like you know, the amount of cracks and things you've got on them is mm. just it's just really cool. Like um, so, yeah, it's awesome. I have just noticed if you look in the top left hand corner. <laughs> Big pile on. Well, that giant, that giant, giant building. That giant building with the, I'm assuming uh, a shard in between it. Right. What the drunk upside down spider? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've that looks that like is... a scratch built thing. Yeah, it kind of okay. has the the, yeah, yeah. the base, the not the sort of the arms, but it looks like the thing you can get from Forge World, the the tiles. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and if you look at the, the little like sort of lightning bits, I think they're from the Skaven. This gave in endless spells, I think. Mm. So, oh, yeah, yeah. I've shot down. I don't know. <laughs> something to do with I the story. I <laughs> found something, and now uh, it's like Matt shut okay, up. They're, they're, they're coming back <laughs> and, uh, and just finding all the pylons. The spells, mate. Yeah, yeah. It's it's just... amazing model. Tons of sub assemblies, I can imagine. There. Oh, it's, it's yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. I wonder how many sprues it's going to be. There's going to be a few on that. <laughs> going to be a big box i'd imagine yeah because you because even i mean i mean just look at the size of him in itself like he i would imagine like you look at those if they're cryptex or bodyguards or whatever you'd imagine they're, they're probably with everything being slightly bigger in the new release it's like the necron stuff i'd imagine that, that those two bodyguards are probably a similar sort of size to probably the lord mm. that comes in in Dox, i'd imagine like so he 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 is massive like he is huge when you look at him compared to, to those two even though he's slightly raised on his first step or whatever but but, um, but yeah, no, like it, just him in itself will probably be a, a decent sized sprue or part of a sprue. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. I think you see a few of him at Golden Demon. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you're going to see yeah. like massive yeah. scratch built bases and just like proper Necron architecture and everything. And it's going to be cool. Yeah. No, it's cute. It's on, honestly an awesome, awesome kit. Like, um, so yeah, Mega. Cool. Do Vect. Like that. <laughs> Vect, no, Vect <gasps> needs his wagon. <laughs> it, 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 it'll be coming right up don't worry honestly it's, it's so next up is the void dragon oh, wow. what, what a model yeah this is amazing yeah i, I like how his chest is almost sort of like phasing mm. out like almost like sort of mm-hmm. matrix-esque yeah it looks like digital camo a little bit like the way it's yeah, the way yeah. done but like it's, it's really like yeah it's just Yes. It looks like the, the sort of that shard is his heart, and like he's building this sort of what's it, um, this construct around that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Giving himself a, a presence. Yeah, it's it's just well mega. Like, and again, the, just the size of it. Like you, you saying something about his. I think before we came on, like you saying something about his, his, so, his yeah, face or something. His that chin, just above it, it's like he's got a tiny little face. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> so I went to zoom in on my phone. He's got yeah, a face above his face. Yeah. It's quite funny. No, it's, it's always, I love I love the way that it's it's just it looks like it's like repair like you've got liquid metal. It looks like he's just repairing himself. He's like he's, he's taking a wound and he's like, nah, can't hurt me. I like how he's affecting the earth around him as well. Like yeah, when everything's sort of being pulled, so he's like sapping energy from the earth. Really yeah, cool. So, so would you what you say he's destroying the base thing thing that he's that he's above like as he's flying yeah. over it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love his tail as well. You see, like he's got like a close combat weapon on the tail. Just, just in case you didn't know, <laughs> that, that the honking spear that he's got, he's like, I've got my tail. As well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's absolutely it's, awesome. It's very much it's like the um, the the body is like the old Deceiver model. Yeah, which is quite yeah. cool. Yeah, just yeah. I love that. I love all the power coming from his hand as well. It's like they've they've really gone for that kind of orb kind of thing. Like if you look in his hand, he's got like almost like a resurrection. Or kind of thing, but yeah, it yeah, turned up to eleven. <laughs> yeah, definitely, you're gonna have yeah. a bad day if you come up against him. Yeah, I want interesting. I wonder how big. I mean, that base looks like a what a one twenty or maybe you know, it look, yeah, for one twenty. So he's probably quite like massively it's, tall. He's got a lot of Yeah, I think he's yeah. more tall than anything. Yeah. It's a bit like the um, Celestine Prime. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all, all more about the, the swirls. Yeah, mm. maybe. It might be the same size. But yeah, it, it's good that they've got like quite a few kits now that are going to be these centerpiece models that are going to look really good in armies and stuff. So Yeah, I, I can't yeah. remember how big it was compared. Like, do you remember the, the, the reveal of like, the army kind of? It showed you that like, big neck with massive Yeah, spray. it was pretty big. Um, yeah, how big mm. it was to things but um again this is a great one to see what people are going to do with their color with the color choices for like imagine imagine him in gold like with purple maybe or like yeah. like it, it just looking incredible i know it's not a neck one but i can see a, a slanesh demon prince right <laughs> well yeah like yeah i can see it now or maybe mm. zinch because of like 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 the change of ways yeah. or something like that because he's like morphing like i don't know that'd be quite cool with the bird wings mm. yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's We're going of... off topic now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we'll talk, we'll talk, we'll talk. That's just yeah. too chaosy. Yeah, yeah. No chaos. <laughs> yeah, amazing, amazing figure though. It is yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. I think that's one of my favourite ones from the Necrons. It's, it's, it is a difficult one between him and, and uh, the, um, the King as well. Silent King, yeah. Because yeah. they're both so, so awesome like, in the way they are. Um, but yeah. I like this because it's clearly, it doesn't look like a Necron, but you know it's a Necron. Yeah. Mm. I mean? Yeah. Yeah. That's why they got the tail. That's what the tail's there for. Exactly. With his grabby hand. <laughs> you need that. You need that. The grabby hand. Grabby <laughs> hand. Cool. Should we go on to the next slide then? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, something different now. Oh, Not 40k. No. Uh, Big child creative. Yeah, so they just had a massive Kickstarter, I think running for the last 20 days, called Echoes of Camelot, and they've basically done a huge range of just our four, our, uh, Arthur legend sort of characters um, mm. and like they're insane um, yeah I picked some of the sort of the coolest ones that I thought and uh, this one on horses Galahad is just going to be amazing yeah that, that, I've seen the Kickstarter and the models are absolutely beautiful like they really really are like um, yeah I, I like the way that it's that each one even though they are all associated each one has got so much like they're, they're so different they're, they're so different from each other in the way that they are like obviously mm. Galahad on the horse and obviously we'll show some others in a minute but like mm. just each one is just so so in depth with what they've gone into and then, again mm. with Big Child everything they produce is you know really really mega yeah. um, I think uh, this is their what 54 or 75 mil scale I didn't know how big they were yeah, but, yeah uh, that's I, what, my question I'm, I'm not entirely sure I can't remember if, I've, if they've actually said it I, I, I imagine they have it's either 54 or, or 75 mm. I think 75 yeah. that is a big horse it's a big horse yeah <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> they usually do those scales, so I'm, I'm sort of just guessing. But, yeah, uh, it's really, that is lovely. Nice. I, even the base as well, just like with arrows into it and all the little bits. Mm, yeah. of, a lot of the big child stuff, like even on there, even on some of the, I don't know if you've seen the orc range that they put out, like even the bases themselves have got loads and loads of detail on it. So they've really just gone completely to town on these. Um, and the horse looks beautiful as well. It's all armoured. Mm. It's really nice as well. Yeah. There's a lot of horses that. A lot of horses that don't ever have protection. It's nice to see they, they, they've got their animal, safety and animal non cruelty. <laughs> yeah. Peter will be happy. Exactly. Yeah. No arrows. Yeah. Just bounce off their armour. Yeah. That's cool. nice. And the next one is Morgana LFA. Yeah. See, like, so even though That's they're cool. in the same range, look at the difference between yeah. like this, 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 just completely, completely different in the way that it's the mm. this aesthetic of it as well. Um, but yeah, like, the birds are cool as well. Like it's awesome. got a lot of movement in this one with like all the oh, yeah, birds totally. and it's she, yeah she doesn't look too happy i'll give her that she looks like <laughs> well, she's gonna just a very bad day so. if you're off the myths, she just wasn't a very happy person to begin with i don't think she's, really? she's quite mean in the myths oh, i'm not i'm not up on um up on the uh, yeah, no. so but um but yeah like um she looks pretty pretty annoyed really cool i stuff. love the i love the pattern on the leg as well i think that's really cool yeah like, yeah, it's very um, what's the word it's sort of um, reminds me like the old sort of wood elf kind of they've got the sort of spiral patterns mm. like, even if you look at a staff mm. it's got that spiral sort of um, I can't even think of the word um, like yeah. the iconography was... the, like the runic type it... things yeah. yeah yeah that's nice very cool model I think the kickstarter is finished Celtic. now Celtic yeah. Celtic that's the one. Oh yeah 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 I think the kickstarter has finished now and they are starting to ship these for people that pick them up um, I don't know if they're going to like sell them beyond the Kickstarter. I assume they will. Oh, yeah, I imagine, yeah, yeah, I can't see them not doing that. I imagine with how successful the Kickstarter's been and how how, how, how many people got behind it, they'd be mad not to. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like mm. they are. Just, yeah, it just wouldn't make sense not to. No, 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 exactly. And uh, yeah, 
that's it for all the what's new. Quite a lot of awesome stuff. Yes. Like, in loads of mm. places. What's your favourite out of all of them, do you think? What's the one thing that's dropped that you think? Like... Um, I have two. I really two. like Silent King. <laughs> it's... Two and a half, actually. Yeah. Two and a half. <laughs> what do you mean half? Yeah, so I've got the uh, the clear orc reveals. That's, that's, that's my half. Right. Yeah, but we knew that. that we knew, that's, that's obvious. Nice. <laughs> um, the Void Dragon mm-hmm. and the Chaplain on Bike. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. 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 Arcade Grabber is definitely going to be my one. It's got, <laughs> it's got, to be tech, it's got to be the Tech Marine or or the Pimp My Ride Tank. It's got to be so probably those two. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think for me, probably the Silent King. It's an awesome model. I think I've been really looking forward to to, to him coming back and to um, the whole Macron re- re- Have you redo missed? of the range yeah. is amazing. Yeah, um, I think for me, it's definitely the Silent King. I'm I'm sort of more interested in the yeah. story. Um, with how they're going to push that along with him, um, I think that's really yeah. cool. Like, I don't think I could tackle a mo- model that big to paint in my lifetime. I'm just too slow at painting. Um, but the story <laughs> will be cool, I think. He's the only Necron with real sort of emotion and feeling, though, isn't he? Uh, I think so. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm not fully clued up. And if any of you guys are watching this, know then feel free to put it in the comments. But like, mm-hmm. as far as I'm aware, that like Necron lords are the only ones that have any memories yeah. of the past or remember when they were biological yeah. and he's probably They're the one that remembers a bit of free will and power and stuff like that they can control yeah. their own thing right. wherever yeah. else is a bit of a mind slave yeah they're not walking toasters no. basically murder toasters <laughs> but, you know. murder toasters well we got murder buckets yeah. haven't we in the new one so like you know, so. Yeah. I love those little models out of the box incidentally they're incredible yeah. put on the wish list I'd like to see with the level of detail they've done now flayed ones Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Like yeah. But, but I think on the and, like of skin. Yeah, well, on, on the on the last uh, on the last episode, didn't we? Someone had, someone had um, mocked up one of the Ninth Hawk models yeah. with. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah, it looked incredible. If that mm. gives us a bit of an idea what they might look like, just covered yeah. in a bit more flesh, maybe. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully, yeah, yeah. And I think as well, it, it makes me excited for like if the uh, I, I don't know if they're potentially going to redo any of the other characters as well, like Imotech. Um, Trezin and all of those other ones. Imagine so, they're on the car. Well, yeah, it's really exciting. Well, yeah, I imagine mm. they would do. I mean, if oh, it, it, Illuminor is anything to go by, then oh, yeah, then, yeah, then, yeah, like it gives, yeah, honestly, like that'd be incredible if they do. Because um, they're all, they're all, I think they're all fine cast currently. The Necron HQ characters, aren't they? I think. Yeah. I mean, they so, get rid of all fine cast, so like it's it's coming soon. Yeah. I imagine it will mm. be within like or a, a weekend release that they do relatively quickly. I imagine sort of yeah. COVID has yeah. kind of pushed everything back a bit, but um, oh, it's affected yeah. everything. I mean, I like, think we'll yeah. see them this mm. year, definitely. Yeah, yeah. hopefully, that'll be good. Yeah. Cool. So, should we move on to the next section? So, let's do it. Yeah. So, what's awesome? What is awesome? There have been loads of things that I've wanted to choose this week, as you know. I, know. I, kept, I was like, "Oh, it's this! Oh, it's this! I'll just check this out." I was so like, oh, "We don't pick one." It's so hard. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, we yeah. know what you. Yeah, Up fine. first is Amy. Your pick. Yeah. So this one, um, this guy's really. I really love his painting. It's uh, very similar to the heavy metal style painting, and. Um, yeah, recently he's uh, started an army um, where it's kind of like a speed paint, but he's, he's it's quite similar to um, Paul Norton's Iron Ravens and um, Darren Latham as well with his Silver Skulls, where you kind of you quickly paint the majority of the model, the majority of the armor, so the silver armor um, quite quickly. Um, obviously, this is a lieutenant model, um, so I think he's he spent a little bit more time on it with edge highlighting, but for the main. Uh, intercessors and troops and stuff he's doing quite mm. a quick job but it's quite effective because you spend that time yep. um, picking out things like the shoulder pads and, and little little aspects on the armour and the helmets and stuff and painting them to such high quality so it, it, at first glance it looks like you have spent a lot of time on the army and um, I think it's a really cool effective way to, to get an army done quick because because yeah it does take a long time to paint to such a high quality standard the full model so yeah so yeah I, I really like it i really love the i really love the um the scheme the silver and the red looks really good together um and this model just looks really oh, nice so yeah, yeah the upside down a marine logo on his shoulder pad 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's almost like the, the the chaps are the sons of Aura. That's 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 yeah. kind of like they've got that upside down white U, which is really cool. But no, honestly, I I I love the model, but I've just got to point out the base is actually incredible. Like it looks really natural. I like, really yeah. really. I really love the I, I, the model's great. Like I love it, but like the the base is actually really really cool as well. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to pick out the, base, <laughs> the whole model. The whole model. Are you awesome. fangirling over the base? You're like, oh, <laughs> great. I'm, I'm I'm looking for reference to my cast chance. Leave me alone. Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 it looks great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we like the it's power of cool. yeah. well on the sword. Looks really nice. Um, yeah. It's a nice different um, color away from the sort of red and silver as well. It's a nice yeah. focal point. Yeah, it's, it's all really, nicely really cool. like crisp highlights. Everything's got you know it's just all together it's just the whole piece yeah. of the whole yeah. is just great yeah mm. nice mega you killed it next up is your pick james yeah so I, I i saw i saw this and like you see so many people doing crons like obviously with green uh, and like i've seen i think on the on the community live stream there's some, there was somebody done blue ones and then and then obviously this popped up on feed and obviously it's ankle so immediately you know it's going to be painted to a bonkers level of quality and, and and sort of you know good and greatness but um but i really love the way that the the orange didn't overpower the metallic mm. scheme that much it's still very metallic and you you know and the the like for example where the lights hitting the foot um you know and, and just on the right on the on the left side there's the the, the the saturation of color on the right hand side on the left hand side of the chest as well it just, it just really really looks incredible right yeah um, he's done a really good job, and it's not too much gold, and it's the, there's enough silver and gold to balance the figure as well. I thought it was good. Um, just really loved it. Literally looked, saw it, and I was like, "This, this is great." I follow yeah. this guy on Instagram as well. He painted that in less than an hour. Yeah, that's the yeah. That's, the, <laughs> the, that's, the, that's the frustrating <laughs> thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I really like I really like the subtle orange sort of glow on the side of his face as well from the uh, from the sword and stuff. So. Yeah. Yeah. I love the fact that they, I don't know what that thing is on his hand. It looks like a kind of like a reanimation orb, but in a fist. Yeah. I don't know, but like, yeah, it, it just looked. Mm. It just it's just this, the main the brightest point of orange is is that. But it just it, the whole model just looked really really you know. And it's and it's nice to see that someone's painted. You know, on the weird kind of like tassel things as well. That they, I don't know what they are, but yeah. Uh, but each of those little things, rather than just being painted metallic or whatever, he's actually taking the time to do those as kind of like orbs or yeah. lights as well, which I think is really cool. Um, so yeah, it just really sort of captivated me when I saw it. I, was, I love, I love, I love the look of it. So yeah, it was good. I like uh, the simple base as well. It's like yeah. a cold, so it, it makes the orange seem more intense. Because yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Oh, you like a base, do you, Matt? I was to say, I'm having a good. <laughs> <laughs> sort of, I can't wait. Oh. But yeah, um, oh yeah, it's just a nice way mm. of differentiating and putting him in a setting. Yeah, that was all I was saying, James. He's got the video of this uh, up on his YouTube channel where he does the whole thing start to finish and goes into detail of how he well, sort of paints it, which is cool. Yeah. yeah, it's crazy. Nice. So, next up is your pick, Matt. This is my pick. So, it's been a, a neck lots of heavy neck today. Kind of. Yeah. yeah. It is. Um, but I, I picked this because I've got a, I, I do like a bit of nostalgia and there was a thing floating around sort of Instagram is old hammer. Yeah. Um, and then when I came across this and I was like, when I first started, I think I've been doing it about a year and the Necrons had just come out and you got a free Necron on the yeah. front of White Dwarf. Amazing. And then I'd never seen this many <laughs> before. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I've already only got one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I only got one, yeah. But um, I remember they sold them as well. Was, I can't remember. You only got five in a box as well. So it was not yeah. like now 20 in a box. But when I saw it's a guy called James Tarrell that did this, um, it just looks impressive and it's kind of nostalgic for me. And mm. then to put a really nice paint job on old figures and show them um, for what they are. Because obviously you can put them side by side with the neck run of today and go, the new one's clearly better. But if you look at the time that it was made, it's still a pretty cool figure for what they did. Mm. I mean, yeah. yeah. I just, I just love that. And now, obviously, I'm gonna go James Otero here. And that base, <laughs> that base is great. You know, with the neck one. Yeah, you know, uh, yeah. Tarot is known for his absolutely bonkers uh, basing and stuff that he does. Like he's he's won numerous kind of like um, I think armies on parades with stuff that he done. He's done a really dark elder portal where all the ravages and stuff are coming out of it in the past. He's done some phenomenal work. Him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's mm. done. Some done some incredible stuff like um so you know that that display base for his crons is, is is awesome as well i've always thought these old crons look really cheeky like they just look <laughs> they're very terminator 
Get this, I'm gonna get you. Like it's just like it's just like, you know, like Who had the last biscuit out the tin? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there is that I suppose. But yeah, no, but no, they're, really, they're genuine, genuinely really, really cool models and um and yeah, like um it's good to see where they came from, like, you know, the new cons. Um the old lord, I still think the old lord holds it's good, yeah. It still holds up now, I think. Do you know what I mean? Like it's just, you know, it's just it's metal when it's a bit a bit fixed in, in its pose, but it's it's still mega model, I think. Like um But you can see if you look at a Necron Lord today, there's still sort of like callbacks. Like if you look at the cape, it's made of those sort of plates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Even the staff, um, they haven't changed the sort of that kind of plate on their chest sort of thing. Yeah. It's all there. Yeah. It's just been updated. Yeah. I, I, lo- I love the little crystals on the base. Again, I'm mentioning yeah. the base, but I do love I do love the little crystals on the bases as well. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah, they're awesome. Sure. Yeah, it's brilliant. And it's, I've just never seen that many metal Necrons. No, I agree. Yeah, mm. I, I, I would like yeah. just. I'm just it's, having like stress issues of cleaning up metal. Like it just now, I can't deal with it anymore. Yeah. Uh, no, no, yeah. never going back to yeah. that again. No, I really he's also he's also uh, he's also done the, the old destroyers as well like they 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 which are really cool um but yeah it, it's uh, it's uh, hats off to him it's an incredible mm. set of miniatures I'd, li- I'd like to see the eBay bill to get those <laughs> I don't think James <laughs> wants them <laughs> one destroyer but three yeah it's quite cool because the, oh. the pyramid obviously he's scratch built this he's got um some some yeah. work in progress shots up on ah. his uh, Instagram. And it didn't sort of seem to take him that long to make all this. Like, I don't no, know how long he's been working really on good. it, but well, well, armies and parades. That, uh, well, that touch wood with everything that's going on, that will still be going on ahead this year. So, uh, is it? Is it? Is it, when is it September normally, Something or is it? There, I yeah. can't remember. When it, yeah. 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 I don't know. Uh, it's gone ahead, but yeah, but, uh, yeah, it looks, it looks awesome. Yeah. I love how vibrant the green is, and that's yeah, yeah, it's cool. Mm. Really awesome. Cool. Crystals on the bases up tomorrow as well. I'll give you that. Yeah, it's all those crystals. It's been a, it's been a base heavy episode so far. Yeah, it's, well, <laughs> it's a base heavy episode, then the next one, you know, you can talk about the base on that one as well. So uh, this is this is my pick. Wow. Yeah, this is awesome. Uh, this is yeah. Danny's. Uh, Danny, I can't awesome, even pronounce awesome. that. Gulglock something. Gulglock. Oh, is, that, is that from the uh, the Worms back from Worms back? Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. Now that it's just super like in that atmosphere with like the back painted yeah. backboard thing, which I'm kind of happy that's yeah. coming back. Yeah. There's been like a trend of like a few painters yeah. doing that now. Um, yeah. It reminds me of um, you'll know this, Matt Avis, probably. I'm sure I've won a book because you love your golden demon, but Victoria yes. Lamb. Yep. Uh, the Australian painter. Um, that kind of, she used to use a lot of yeah. fire as well and sort of tones, and then mm. create a scene like that. Did she do the assist, uh, the sister battle seraphim fight yeah, with the flame? Yeah, 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 yeah. I so. yeah. 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 There's just loads of like I love like OSL on it, and like the moon in the background of the painting is obviously is lighting mm. the model from from behind, from behind, and there's just like all really yeah. cool tones, and there's that little bit of fire on yeah. the sort of left I absolutely love it. you can't that even though the point of the point of origin of the lighting is well obviously the moon's on the backboard for the back of it and for the tops but but i love the fact that the fire isn't really actually even on the on the piece and it's yeah. all, all, all the all of the light sourcing is some is coming yeah. off off off, off piece like, if that makes sense i think it's yeah. like what's over there yeah yeah, yeah. It's, it's his dinner yeah. he's getting angry he's, he's got his <laughs> knife and fork out <laughs> He's watching the Barbie, you know, like it's that's fine. What, that's right, so yeah. he's got his, uh, his cleavers out. He's right. <laughs> like, still alive, got to hit it quick. Uh, like, you know? yeah. <laughs> I just thought it was yeah, really no. interesting to see like this sort of back art thing coming back. Like it was, yeah. it, it sort of, mm. it was around in like the early sort of 90s and mid 90s and then it kind of disappeared and it's kind of mm. back now. Like, um, I think, what was yeah. it, that, um, that Space Marine that the guy did the cover art thing. I- Kind of, yeah. oh yeah, piece. yeah. That was the first one I saw of that style, mm. and now everyone's sort of picking it back up again, which is nice to see. Just adds a bit it's more really to cool. to the whole piece. Yeah, it's awesome. It's awesome. What do you think? The, the, the question is though, Kennedy. What do you think of the base? Uh, if I wasn't being filmed, I'd be in tears. <laughs> um, no, the, um, the it's. 
underplayed. It's all about the model. Yeah. And I mean that in the nicest way. It's sort of like it's all about the, the figure and the light source and the backdrop. Um it's sort of like it is there, but it doesn't draw your attention as much as the sort of reds and mm. all the shine spots all over yeah. the figure. Yeah. 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 It's just that's that's I don't want to say art because I don't want to sound like that no, guy. But it is, though. It's, 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 yeah. got a, it's got it's got it's got you know it's it's miniature painting, but it's got loads and loads of art, more artistic and more sort of fine art side of it. I think I think it's just it's really it's, yeah. Danny's knocked it out of the park with it, so mm. no, it's really really cool. Nice. Do a unit, and then I'll be impressed. <laughs> 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 I think that may take a bit of time. Yeah, a little bit. You can have like a full yeah. backboard though, I suppose, you know, across the whole lot of them. You love, you I love do. your backboards, no, don't you? See, the thing is, that, so it's obviously single. It's, it's obviously a single, single piece, like a single character. Yeah. So, if it included the barbecue, you know, it would have been, it would have been, it would have been a diorama. You know, <laughs> what I mean, <laughs> you know? but you know, exactly, yeah. So, no, but it's, it's really, really cool. Right, yeah. I just got a, is it like one of those disposable barbecues now? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. That would be it. So that was the What's Awesome section. Uh, if you're watching this and you would love for your model to be featured on Beyond the Brush, all you need to do really simply is just simply tag us uh, by using the hashtag Beyond the Brush, or you can email it into us at beyondthebrushpodcast at gmail.com. Uh, we'd love to see what you've been working on, and uh, it could be featured up on the next show. Uh, so we're joined also today by Amy, uh, who has, or hasn't been on the podcast before. Obviously, she's a member of the Siege team, and um, we, she recently done a really good interview uh, about uh, being female and being in the industry. And uh, we thought, while we've got her, it would be a nice topic of discussion to go over, uh, talk about her you know, experiences in the industry, how she got into it, all those kind of things as well, which I thought would be really nice to do. So I'll hand over to you, Amy, to give us a bit of a run through on, on sort of how you got into things. And, um, and then we can start talking about that part of the industry. Yeah, that sounds great. So, um, so yeah, basically, I guess we'll, we'll, we'll go from the beginning. So I, I've been um, painting now for about six years. Um, I first got into it through my, my partner. Um, so when I met him, I didn't have any idea what Warhammer was. I'd never even seen it. Um, I think I remember sort of thinking i think i've walked past that shop in town where there's yeah. it's a bit weird <laughs> <laughs> nice smell um, coming from i don't know what it is <laughs> 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 um and he was quite, he was completely mad about it and he um uh he'd been doing it all his life so he uh, eventually sort of got me into it and uh my, the first few models i painted was from the uh, hobbit range um sort of the middle earth strategy battle game and um just really it was it was something completely different to what i was doing at the time um i was very kind of academically driven i think i was at uni at the time and it, you know sort of it, it it was the only kind of like creative thing that was um that was in my life at that point and and it was something completely different so it, i just completely fell in love with it and i remember like um since then in sort of the years that followed then i just was painting all the time in my spare time and um yeah i just completely i was, I was crazy about it <laughs> and um we all know that yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah just just sort of buying models all the time and just completely um just plowing through them and and, and uh, it was it was something just 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 amazing and um so yeah so i uh i at that time um it was mainly age of sigma i think that sort of really propelled that um that love for painting and uh, all of the models in the Edge Sigma range and everything that came out at that time were just fantastic. And and uh, there was a couple of like um, tournaments and stuff that I went to. Um, but for me, it's always more been been more about the painting. And um, like I've always felt like even though I, I enjoyed the games, I uh, and and to be fair, I'm I'm definitely much more of a painter than a gamer because I'm kind of like. Uh, I can look at the rules and I'm like, I need to read them about 10 times to understand what, <laughs> what, what you need to do. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, I went to a few tournaments and, and I know that there's always been this thing of, um, you know, wanting to get more women involved in things like tournaments and stuff. And I know that there are a couple of women who, who uh, are in the community who do go to tournaments. Now, um, I don't anymore just because I'm not, and that's not because I don't 
feel welcome at all. Um, I was I felt really comfortable. I went to a lot of the Warhammer World ones. Um, didn't really go to any kind of independent ones, but no. that was just more for time, basically. And uh, so, yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I can I can understand how some women could maybe feel a little bit anxious or a little bit um, find it a little bit intimidating. And I think sometimes I felt that, but I don't know if that was because it was me in a room with loads of other men. <laughs> I, I, I think it was just maybe more a, just a personal thing. I think I feel that a lot of times if in sort of quite large sort of social situations and stuff can be a little bit, you know, kind of uh, a, a lot to take in. But, um, yeah. but no, I enjoyed them. And um, but yeah, but, but for me, more recently, it's been more about painting and um sort of getting into it professionally was sort of at a time in my life where I kind of um, was finding it difficult with the job I was in previously. Uh, it was a completely different job. It was in healthcare, um, very very um, emotionally demanding. And and, yeah. and, uh, and for me, painting was that, was that escape and that relaxation. Yeah. And when I looked out there and I saw that people were doing it professionally and it's – and and there were and that was a possibility i was like well i i want that and yeah. um i was inspired a lot by my partner because he um he works for games workshop and he used to at that time work, work in the store and he absolutely loves he loved his job and he, he still loves his job now and, and like in the morning he'd wake up and he'd be really excited to go to work and and for me like in my previous job i was always like the night before just thinking oh, i don't want to get there yeah um, <laughs> oh, dreading it and <laughs> and so for me I just really wanted a job where I could just get up in the morning and be like yeah I'm really excited to work on this thing and, and do this and and for me that was that was what painting was for me and yeah. I just I thought I want that to work I want that to be my career and and uh, two years now been doing it professionally full-time so it, it works if you want to do it you you know put the yeah. put the effort in put the time in and um yeah so, yeah, that's kind of like a little bit of a, uh, a brief overview of how I've got to where I am today. I think it's really interesting, like, you know, um, like uh, on the analytics, like if you, if, you know, we, we obviously have a, a certain percentage of followership in the industry and like you look at it and and, um, and female sort of percentage in the industry is only, only 7% currently, which I think looking at the stats is massively disproportionate. I think you see loads of loads of female and, and women in, in the community, which is really, really good. Um but I don't think I don't think that as many probably are represented as, as greatly as, as they should be. I think like there's a there's a lot of fantastic you know uh, female sort of painters and, and and you know people in the industry that just perhaps aren't seen as much or aren't known. More importantly, I think aren't known about as much, which I think is the real thing. Um, I think like um, it, I can understand it can probably be quite daunting to come into a 93 percent dominated male industry. Do you know what mm. I mean? But, but yeah. I think. I think it's a good good opportunity for for women to sort of really stand out more because there is such a male dominance. I think it's I think it's a, it's a it's a huge thing that um, is being backed up by the likes of Games Workshop, who are producing more female physical miniatures, and there's more mm. prolific characters in the game which are are female. Do you know what I mean? I think it's really really important that that's happening. Um, but it's uh, it's good that what you've been doing, like with, you know, you've got obviously a, a great presence on Twitter, and you know, you've got a great presence on socials and things, and it's it's, it's almost like you know, you are waving the flag for for, for, for women in the industry as well as a, a lot of the other females that are very active on socials. I think it's a, it's, a, it's a really important thing, um, you know. Um, yeah, but, I think for me that was um, so. I think for me that was that that's the really important thing about why I uh, I do try and post as much as I can and post my work and because. Um, you know, I don't, I don't massively um, really look at numbers or anything or, or I'm not really that bothered about, you know, sort of things like that. I think for me, it's more about I, I you know, I've had loads of messages from people saying, you know, I really like this and you've inspired me to do this. And, um, you know, I've, I've uh, and from from men and women. And I think it's, um, you know, I think it's really important to for, for, for people to be able to have people like that, that they can look up to and especially women as well. If women, um, you know, it, feel that they can look at look at the work I've done and kind of my journey and if they want to do that then you know that's that's entirely possible um yeah I'd like to ask a question because obviously it's <clears throat> obviously I'm a I'm a bloke I'm a man um <laughs> I do plan to Christmas so I do dress up as a woman I'll, I'll say right. I wonder I'll where fun. you're going with that Matt. <laughs> <laughs> exactly um but 
I like to know, like from your perspective, what um, obviously your 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 partner was into it, so that got you into it, so that was just okay. But what would what would stop you if you didn't go down that route? What would have because obviously you got into it and you're obviously very good at what you do and obviously now you're doing what you want to do and you love it, which is amazing. Yeah. But when you went past the shop, what what stopped you? If you hadn't met Tim, your partner, what would have stopped you going in? I don't know. I think it's really interesting, isn't it, how life happens and, and it makes you wonder, like, where would I have been if I'd have never met him? And and um, I, I don't know. I think, uh, I think for me, because I was in such a... Um, a place in my life where everything was academic and you know I was I had my head in textbooks and stuff and and I was so busy with coursework and all that stuff and 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 work and I just didn't it just felt like I didn't really have the time to kind of mm. um look at a kind of like a hobby like that I think at the time my hobbies were mainly kind of like just um watching films and tv shows and youtube and things like that and I just never come across something doing something kind of like physical like that. Um, cause I've never really had, I don't really have a, well, I don't have a, any kind of painting experience or anything like actual, like, you know, sort of traditional painting or anything or any artistic background. Um, when I was younger, I, I was quite creative in, in terms of, um, writing. I used to write loads of stories and poems and loads of stuff like that. So potentially, you know, maybe that might have, have happened, but I think for me, it was that exposure I think because I'd never, re- I didn't really know what it was. I'd, I'd never thought about it. I think if if I if I'd not been introduced to it by him, like maybe I might have come across it later on. And obviously, I know that Warhammer's becoming so much more mainstream sure. now, and um, that's that's and hopefully that's going to lead to a lot more women coming into it. And and I think it definitely has. I've I've, I've noticed um, loads more women on on social media and stuff. Um, and so so yeah, I don't know. I don't know. If, what, what stop yeah it's difficult really <laughs> but i think it's it's so oh, interesting it's... how how such a seemingly um you know kind of one life decision has led to completely changing my life for the better and so yeah i think it's quite interesting to see yeah. from a different angle like yeah i think everyone's got stories like that like if my best mate hadn't got 40k for christmas i might yeah. not be a, a painter you know what i mean yeah yeah I think early on, I think a lot of the, the I think maybe uh, a lot of the reasons why early on it wasn't seen as such a, a an easy entry for, for 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 women is because if you look at a lot of the books and you look at all the artwork, it was it was predominantly portrayed as the very masculine kind of like uh, you know um, kind of like Marines Guard, all these all these things that you saw um, were all sort of obviously male. And I think it, it's interesting how even like with some of the computer games that came out, I think there was a either a Dawn of War that had a female farseer in it. I think you've got. Uh, you know, if we take a look at the, for example, the the brand new 40k um, video, like the entry video, like the, where you, it starts with a sister, you've got this amazingly, you know, confident, like really, really mm. iconic sister, strong. Back, strong, yeah, which is which is, and I think that's what it is. I think uh, you know, it, it's characters like that and icons like that, that 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 women and females in the industry can look at and be like, right, well, you know, you can you can. I, I remember from like previous my previous partners and things like that they've, they've obviously been interested in in in, in it because obviously it's what i do or whatever the case may be mm. but they've not had anything to relate to mm. so much but then that's mm. why now with sisters coming out like i think it's <coughs> a thing that the model range is obviously so incredible as it is mm. combine that with the the, the the all the narrative and for example the new 40k trader and all of that it really it kind of levels the playing field to like well there's obviously you've got your marines and ma- ma- male or whatever and you've got your sisters mm. about all these other amazing characters that are starting to come out like Severina Rain and all these different, you know, awesome, awesome characters. So hopefully we will see sort of like a balance, uh, you know, come across the industry, which I've yeah. really been overdue for a massively, massively long time. Mm. I also think that there's, um, because times are changing and I, I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a fault of Games Workshop. I think it's, no. um, it's supply and demand really. And I think a lot of their, their customer base is male. So they will produce those characters because yeah. that's what yeah. they're asking. No, whereas now it's starting to change. You're starting to see a lot more sort of females in the uh, in the industry and collecting mm. pictures. So they're they're catering to that. So sisters of battle, you could that they brought, they brought all that Severina Rain and mm. female inquisitors, and they're some of the best figures they're doing. Yeah, totally. Yeah, mm, yeah. Catering to their Especially audience. You could, you could look yeah. at the, the sort of demographic um, at the Warhammer Fest in Games Day. I mean, I can remember like most of the sort of the female attendants at Games Day were just partners who were dragged along 
and yeah. um, <laughs> they, they, they weren't really interested in reading the book yeah, in the yeah. corner. and they're sitting down and, like, <laughs> and you see just on the, the walls and stuff like that but now you see it's yeah. it's a bit different it's, yeah. sort of, it's it's younger couples both that are yeah. into it mm. um which is different. yeah I, th- I think it's inter- interesting i think i think ultimately maybe it just comes down to to personality and and personal preferences and things like that i mean i've always been quite a quite a tomboy quite you know i've always uh, been more into like gaming and xbox and things like that so i've never really been like a kind of typical female watching all reality tv stuff not that i'm not i don't want to be saying typical um <laughs> you know and the makeup and things like that you know kind of stereotypically f- feminine things i've never yeah. been so i i wonder if that maybe is why I've, I've sort of seen this and and it's kind of it spoke to me more perhaps than um it would someone else but um but that's not necessarily to say uh, actually actually yeah i'm just thinking of a lot of examples who are who, who are not like who are not like me who are into it as well but um, but yeah, it's interesting. It is interesting how it, it it's um, generally is, you know. Obviously, I think because it has been more generally masculine um, product, and how they are changing it a lot recently. And um, but yeah, it'd be interesting to see where sort of the future goes. And um, because because there's so many more characters now and models that that you know females and women can can relate to within, mm-hmm. within the game within the books as well. I think, and I do think that's a huge part yeah. of it. Um, you know, but. But yeah, like you know, as I said, it's it's good to see how the community is massively diversified over the last couple of years, and um, you know, long may it continue and, and and grow and grow and grow, which is what we want. I think yeah. Matt, Matt Matt may be paused, or Matt Kennedy may have disappeared. Yes, I think he has, <laughs> he has dropped off for a second there. Um, unless, unless he's he, in the same fight. Yeah. he's just really happy. <laughs> yeah, he's just really happy. Yeah. I'm sure he'll pop back on in a second. Um, yeah, something I was um, going to ask is, do you think? Um, sort of different stores maybe have different um, sort of levels of not levels of but like they're more welcoming than others sometimes depending because um, I, um, I noticed like in the early days like some stores like when I was specifically into it, it was if a, if a female walked in it was the managers acted a bit differently and they thought maybe they're just here to buy something mm-hmm. for someone else rather than maybe trying to get them into it Possibly, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, I know I've definitely heard of of, of other people, of other women who, who've had that experience where they've gone into a store and and the and the manager has maybe um, maybe been a bit shy or not quite known how to interact, perhaps. And that's not that's not no. the case for everyone at all. Uh, uh, but honestly, in my experience, I've. I've never really had that experience. I've, I've, um, I've, I've been quite lucky, really, and I know that a lot of women have had quite negative experiences in gaming stores and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I've never really had any negative experience like that. I've always, I think, the people that I've always that I've met and, and seen in stores and stuff, they've always interacted really well and really interested in, in, and and I've never felt like it's been any different. I think it's it's di- it's probably different for me though because. The, the majority of my time and my experience within a gaming store has been with my partner being the manager. So, <laughs> so obviously it's very, very yeah. different. So that's the only experience that I've really had. But I'm just thinking when I've been to like Warhammer World or we've, we've gone to other kind of Warhammer shops or I think a couple of times I've been into the independence um, in the previous town I lived in. And, and, and so, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I think for me, I've always, I've had quite a positive experience. There was a nice kind of community and stuff in the in the place where I was. I think there was there was one other other woman that I can think I can remember, um, a couple of others maybe. But um, but yeah. Cool. So can you guys hear me? Are you back? Yeah, we can hear yeah, you. Yeah, can't see you, but <laughs> yeah. can't see. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> I have no idea what happened. We had we had oh. this incredible fro- incredible frozen screen like, of, of you. You looked extremely <laughs> happy, extremely happy, Matt. I think you were rem- 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 reminiscing all those bases from earlier in the in the in the, in the, in the, in the chat. Yeah, no, um, you know, are you just going to put oh, an I'll avatar on me? Like, like, like yeah. that's yeah. fine. Just a static yeah. screen or <laughs> loading. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. No, it's it's a really interesting topic. Like you know, and, and I, I think I thought while we had you, you know, on 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 the podcast, it'd be nice to just have a chat about it because it is it is something that you know it is something that I think should be should be discussed and should be talked about to to help you know boost it and grow it as much as possible. You know, um, but yeah, no, it's uh, it's been lovely having you just, on as well. I, mean, I hope you can come on. Like, what, what what do you think that oh, yeah. um, perhaps stores could maybe do which would make it more welcoming from like your point of view? 
um, I don't know. I guess I guess it's difficult because, as yeah. I say, I have, I've never really had the neg- negative experience, of, and um, um, I, I think maybe or even just like on Instagram or something being, like that, because like you can get quite yeah. a, a cesspit of humanity appear on uh, yeah. Instagram, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah i i think it's i think it's yeah. awareness i think people maybe need to just be a little bit more aware about you know what they say and 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 people can have their own opinions that's fine um but i think you know obviously yeah yeah you, you're gonna get people that are gonna say what they want to say just because but i think if, if any women are listening to this and they're and they're um maybe they're, they're nervous about going to their gaming store or they've had a negative experience online or they're anxious about posting things um you know i i, I still get never i mean ash james i i get, <laughs> i worry all the time about everything that's, that's just fine. me but but at the same time i think i think as i've got older i think i've got a little bit more less worried about potentially what other mm. people think or, or i try and i, I try and ri- i try and ride that feeling and so i think if, if if there's any women out there who who are a little bit anxious about you know being a bit more open or want or want to get more into it just just do it just 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 post your stuff and you know just if anyone wants any advice or anything just ask and and i think i think for other people for for maybe uh males in, in the community or, or people who run stores or things like that just awareness just 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 trying to just just treating people as everyone equally i guess, I guess just and being a nice being a person <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah yeah i think i think it's shifting though i think like james was saying that seven percent i think i think the algorithm isn't necessarily correct because it's like on my yeah, Facebook, I, 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 I follow loads of loads of female painters because you know they're good painters. Like I don't interact with them on a personal level. I just obviously like the stuff that they're posting. But it's nice to see that you know things are changing because even from when I was younger, it was it was I think there was one girl that was into it, and now if you go into a gaming store, you see a complete mix of people, which is mm-hmm. you know it's, it's what you want to see. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, as I say, it doesn't it doesn't feel like it's seven percent. You know what I mean? It, it it really doesn't because there are so many. I mean, I can I can name just off the top of the series yourself, Amy. There's uh, Louise Sagden, you've got Katarzyna Gorska, you've got lo- there's loads of awesome painters that, yeah. that that are widely known, like hugely known like, in the industry. Um, and it just doesn't feel that that percentage is proportionate to the real amount of people that are that are female in the industry do you know what i mean so it's just yeah. it's just it's a yeah. very interesting very interesting one yeah. then again it, I, it could be true because sort of um facebook instagram it's kind of an echo chamber um, yeah like you'll obviously be with friends and like people who are friends of friends and stuff like that so for every female painter that you're not following there's probably going to be about ten thousand guy painters that you're not following so yeah, yeah i think it's hard yeah. to actually surmise how many i don't think you'll ever know it would just be nice yeah. to mm. visually see it yeah, yeah. I think as well, just to touch on, on the notable women as well. You've got the, the you know, two women at, at the top of Games Workshop in heavy metal. And I guess you've got Anya and you've got um, Nat. Nat um, and I think I think that's the only two women that are in the heavy metal team at the moment. But um, but yeah, like so, you know, you you don't know. I think they're both quite um, very quiet on, on social media and stuff. But um, you know, you'll pick up a model and it's it's been done by them, and you, you don't quite know. And I think um, I, I think for me, I, I'd love it if Games Workshop maybe tried to. I don't know. Maybe it's down to personal preference, but if they pushed it a bit more and put what you know, sort of highlighted more about who painted what, and I think it'd be cool for for kind of like a little girl in in, in the games workshop to pick up a model and see it's been painted by somebody called Natalie, and obviously they can tell it's it's a woman, and I think that that'd be really cool. But um, but yeah, uh, yeah, it's it's, it's de- definitely growing, um, and uh, there's there's tons more women that I, I've 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 followed loads recently. Um, on Instagram and stuff, and uh, but yeah, it's good. It's good, cool, amazing. I think that wraps it up for this week's or this month's episode. Um, as always, thank you to Matt Kennedy and Matt Avis, our resident tech priest in all the work. But yeah, like, um, you know, hopefully, uh, Amy, you can come on for more episodes. We'd love to have you on. Mm. Um, yeah. you know, if, if any of you guys that are watching this uh, are interested in us seeing your models or showing off once again, make sure that you um, tag us on Instagram or any of the socials with the hashtag Beyond the Brush. Or you can email in those images to the email address, which is beyondthebrushpodcast at gmail.com. 
Uh, we're going to be having uh, other sort of guests that come on the show as well. So there'll be opportunities for people to come on the show, just so you're aware of that. Uh, and as always, thank you ever so much for watching the episode. Cool. See ya. Thank you. See you later, guys. Bye. Bye.